It was a sad morning as the country woke up to the news of the death of former State Minister for Defence Sarah Nyiribashet Simateke, who reportedly died at Mengo Hospital this morning, where she was said to have been rushed after suffering a heart attack after struggling with hypertension for some time. This followed the visit to the hospital of a team of government officials, including Defence Minister Jacob Obothoboth, led by the Speaker of Parliament Anita Mung, to Mulago Farewell Home, where the body of the late Mateke was taken following her demise at Mengo Hospital in Kampala. Many government officials, including her successor at the Ministry of Youth and Children Affairs, Balam Baruhagara, Deputy Speaker of Parliament Thomas Tewa, among others, took to their socials to eulogize former State Minister, who also served as the woman member of Parliament for Chisuru District, whom was majorly painted as a humble and committed leader. Recounting the days of the late Mateke as a valuable player in the Uganda Parliamentary Forum for Children, MP for Akiso District, Betty Ethel Naluyima, tributed the late as a reliable member. At the time when she was the State Minister for Youth and Children Affairs and the Minister of Gender, Sarah could be called on. Sarah was reliable. She could be called on at any one time. We don't have much words to say, but we await really and we are praying, may the angels receive her with joy, may God receive her and may her soul rest in peace. The Church of Uganda Fraternity will also have something to remember about Sarah Mateke as she served as chairperson of the organizing committee that led fundraising for the consecration of the third bishop of Mohabura Diocese, Reverend Canon Godfrey Mbetse, in April last year at St. Andrew's Cathedral, Sesame Chisoro. This is to inform you that on 19th, uh, 19th March, we shall have a grand fundraising so that we can get funds that can help us uh, f uh, prepare for a better consecration. And of course, this is an appeal to all of you. After 19th, we shall all be moving to Mohabura Diocese on 2nd April, where we shall have the consecration of our third bishop of Muhabura Diocese. Please join us spiritually, pray for us, uh, and we pray that those who are able financially can also support us. Thank you so much. May God bless you. During the occasion, she is remembered to have advocated for unity and emphasized the importance of protecting the institution of family. We have an attack on our family institutions. It's not only in Muhabura Diocese, not in Xero District only, but all over. We need to do something because if you see the rate at which people are divorcing and if they divorce, all this effect trickles down to their children. I pray that we do something. The passing of the Honorable Mateke signifies the fifth occasion of which the 11th Parliament is in mourning for a fellow member. Information of the full program for her barrier arrangements will be communicated in due course. May her soul rest in eternal peace.